Value Trades. Welcome to the Value Trades Basic Trading Course. This is a series of videos designed to launch the journey of beginning traders in every aspect of trading with value trades. In this video, let's take a look at spreads in FX and CFD trading. Have you ever noticed that when you open a position, the profit column indicates a negative number? This is because in any trading or investment transaction, your position first has to beat the spread. To explain what that is, let's look at the position we just opened and freeze the recording at the moment we click the buy button. In an earlier video, we showed you how to display the ask line on your charts. This quite simply graphically displays the difference between the bid price and the ask price and we can see these two prices in various locations on our MT4 charts. The red line is the ask price and the black line is the bid price. Very often you may not even see the ask line as the spreads offered by value trades are very tight. So we can see that when we open the buy position we entered the trade at the ask price. Essentially, our position will not be in profit until the bid price rises to meet our entry point. In most FX pairs, the spread, the difference between the bid and the ask, is expressed in pips. To see each symbol's spread, you may right-click on MarketWatch and click Spread. You may now see all the spreads on display. You will note that we express the spread on symbols like gold, XAUUSD, in cents as the quote currency is the US dollar. In this case, it is an incredibly low 8 cents. The spread on WTI, US oil, and Brent crude, UK oil is expressed in tenths of a cent. The spreads on indices vary depending on the relative size of the price action figure. You may have noticed that we have created this video using the one minute charts. This is only for illustration purposes as the ask line may not be visible on higher time frames. You will note as well that symbols that are very popular like Euro Dollar and Dollar Yen have very low spreads and are very often at zero thanks to value trades. These low spreads are possible due to the high level of liquidity in the markets as Euro Dollar for example is the most popular FX pair traded globally. More exotic symbols have higher spreads and this is due to a lack of liquidity in the markets. Spreads become quite important and significant when you start trading on lower time frames or if your trading strategy includes scalping. In this case, you need to investigate the symbols you wish to trade and use only those with low spreads. That's all for now. In the next lesson, we will be looking at alerts and notifications on the MT4 platform. CFDs and FX are leveraged products and your capital may be at risk.